Welcome to the first episode of Shark Week. We're going to be starting this week's series of videos, well, at the start. As in this first video, we investigate the earliest evolution of the sharks, and look at just where and when these incredibly remarkable animals came from. As I'm sure you know, sharks are a very ancient lineage of animals, originating long before even the dinosaurs first evolved. In fact, they predate dinosaurs by around 200 million years, although, as we'll see later in this video, they may have been around even longer. Figuring out the exact timing of shark origin, and even how different prehistoric species relate to one another, is a fairly challenging job for paleontologists. Shark skeletons are made from cartilage and certain connective tissues, and they do not fossilise very well. This means that the majority of shark fossils we find are of teeth, scales, and fin spines, but, in many cases, quite a lot can be understood just from these relatively fragmentary remains. For example, paleontologists can tell that sharks were definitely around 420 million years ago, since we have fossilised scales found in Siberia that are from this time, a geological period known as the Silurian. These scales were given the name Elegastolepis, but other than that some kind of shark with this kind of scale existed back then, the fossils don't hint at much about the animal's physical appearance. There are some slight indications gathered from the examinations of the scales that suggest Elegastolepis looked very different from modern sharks, but not much detail can really be understood from such scattered remains. Still, it's remarkable that a few preserved scales can indicate the presence of one of the earliest living members of a truly significant animal group, and their presence at this time is further confirmed by more fossilised scales from two other prehistoric sharks. Found in similar aged rocks in Mongolia, these other animals were named Mongolepis and Polymerolepis. Unfortunately, they're also in the same position as Elegastolepis. Although we know they existed, and although it's widely agreed by paleontologists that they represent some of the earliest true sharks, their remains are so limited that there's no reliable way to tell what the animal's anatomy was like. However, there is also some evidence to suggest that these three creatures were not even the oldest members of the shark group. There may in fact have been a far older shark. From within 455 million year old rocks in Colorado, there come more scales, which appear to be fairly shark-like in structure. However, the detailed structure of the fossil scales is quite different to other sharks, and so we have to be careful when deciding what kind of animal this was. Due to the differences, many paleontologists don't accept that the animal the structures belong to was a true shark, so it seems sharks probably are not that old, but some fairly shark-like animals were starting to appear at this time in Earth's history. So sharks had for certain originated by the end of the Silurian, and during the following time period, the Devonian, we have a much better idea of how the animals continued to evolve. The oldest known shark teeth are about 400 million years old, which would have been in the early Devonian. However, it's still not entirely clear what kind of shark they belong to. There are a few similarities in their anatomy that may suggest an affiliation with a group known as the Xenocanths, but not everyone has come to the same conclusion, and so there's still some disagreement. 380 million years ago it was the Mid-Devonian, and preserved in rocks of this time in what is today Australia, some more possible Xenocanth remains were uncovered. A fossilised brain case that displays some fairly Xenocanth looking features is known, and not only that, but in similar aged rocks in Antarctica, a reasonably articulated specimen was found that is potentially a Xenocanth too. A name has been given to the shark that left these remains, Antarctilamna. Although there is still some disagreement as to what family of sharks this animal fits into, there is little doubt that it does indeed represent a true shark, indicating that these creatures were definitely a distinct lineage of animals by the time Antarctilamna was around. And so from this time forwards, sharks continued to evolve and diversify further, eventually leading to the fantastic animals we see today. It's also important to note that although sharks are indeed a very old lineage, they have certainly not avoided the effects of evolution over time. There seems to be a view that sharks are primitive creatures that have not changed much throughout their history, but this is not true at all. Sharks have undergone several evolutionary radiations, and in various different time periods have occupied a wide range of niches, developing varied anatomical features as a result. Whilst prehistoric and modern sharks may share the basic characteristics that make them sharks, there's also a huge range of variation on these features that different branches of the shark tree evolved in the past. The sharks that are still alive today are the descendants of those shark lineages that successfully adapted and survived in the past, showing these animals to be anything but primitive. Rather, they're the products of millions of years of evolutionary experiment and successes. So there's a quick look at the origin of the shark group, and some of the earliest sharks we know of, along with the evidence for them. 
Of course, there's still much more to be learned about the early evolution of sharks due to the incomplete nature of the fossil record, but hopefully future discoveries will be able to shed more light on exactly what the history of early shark evolution was like. Thank you for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and that you'll enjoy the rest of Shark Week. We've got all sorts of shark content planned for the next few videos, so make sure to look out for those. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you'd like to see more from us.